Conservationists say this study is important to better understand the lion population in the park. Since the 1970s, the lion population has almost halved. And what's more concerning is that males outnumbered females. With the past surveys that were done um, in the earlier 2000s, they just found that there were more males that were detected in the population than females. So by default, when you start having more males, it just means that the population is not going to grow as fast, hence it could lead to a decline in the population. If, let's say, for example, a disease was to be introduced in, into that population, if it's a declining population, the impacts of that disease could be quite um, severe because it is isolated. So there, there's things that we need to keep track of um, so that we can make those decisions as we're making about, OK, so what will be the way forward um, under these circumstances? A team of researchers will cover the 38,000 square kilometer park in search of lions. Unlike other studies, this time around, they won't use tracking devices to conduct their study. Traditionally, back in the day, we used to use more invasive methods where you'd find the lions, um, you'd dart them, you'd brand them, and you'd collar them so that you can you know, be able to identify the different individuals. But now we're using a new method, a new field method that we call the search, capture, recapture. But the capture is not the physical capture that we're familiar with from the past. This is now taking photographs of the animals. So we take strategic facial shots of the animals to be able to get the whisker patterns because each individual has a unique whisker pattern. And we also are able to get, um, you know, scars and some facial um, indicators of the different individuals. We focus on spoor as well as sightings and then uh, we want to shift and see the population in general for the entire Halahari Transfrontier Park. To get the sighting, what the teamers will normally do, they will take pictures of the lions, uh, left face, right face, also if there's scars, record the scars, the whiskers and all that. And uh, we also put on camera traps at specific uh, hotels, especially the ones that's off the Roads. The study will assist sand parks to decide if lions needs to be moved to other parks, more females be introduced, or allow nature to take its course. 27 lions have so far been identified since the study started just over a week ago. Ulrich Hendricks, SBC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.